Good morning, everybody. It's Jillian. There's my dog, Sugar. She's settled in. So, um, yeah, this uh, this is really apropos. I've been watching YouTube videos. I think actually I watched National Geographic on uh, Nat Geo on TV last night regarding the cyber wars in North Korea. Since North Korea is a really poor country, their weapon of choice has been terrorizing people through cyber, the cyberspace. And they found ways to hack into, they found a way to hack into Sony, if I'm sure you heard about that a couple, like a year ago or so. Um, they found ways to hack into a lot of different um, countries, bank accounts, stealing money and all that. And that's what's funding their campaigns. And they don't really need a lot of infrastructure to 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 have that type of, um, uh, I guess, protocol in terrorism, I guess, that's what you call it. That's their way of making a name for themselves. So we you know now have to understand that the perception of north korea isn't really about boots on the ground it's about now really it's cyber wars it really is okay so i was watching that and then this morning i was watching really early this morning watching stuff about trump and russia and the beginning when trump was getting his campaign off the ground and picking his cabinet you know he, he's trying to find a way to talk to putin because i think the whole point with Trump and and Russia, he wants to make Russia kind of like an ally, which I wouldn't necessarily trust Russia as an ally, but at least have some kind of like, okay, a common ground. So we don't have to worry about them. I mean, that's kind of what my perception of Trump is. First, you make a name for yourself as the incoming president to where you can make these relations, these ge geopolitical, geopolitical relations like people that used to be enemies of us are now kind of like we found a happy medium. And if I was president, I'd want to have some kind of diplomatic relations with all the people that we would think be the axis of evil. Though you can't be too overzealous about it. And if you are and you do things, hey, good morning, Ron. And if you do things that are kind of outside the norm, like going and visiting Russia and then being, you know, uh, being potentially construed as a Russian asset or something. Perceptions are going to be created based upon people's filters, okay? And that's really what it comes down to. And so that's why we have this whole thing with Democrat Republicans, because we're filtering through strong bodies versus weak bodies. Anytime you have a perception of something, you're filtering it through your balances or imbalances. And that's no different than uh, geopolitics, all of their perceptions of America and our perceptions of the Middle East and all of that is filtering through unhealed wounds from years and years and years ago, okay? And so, and then this is what I deal with with Jeju. So when it comes down to it, there's the perception, the illusion of what you think is real, and then there's the actual reality. And the actual reality is not as fun as the perception of the reality. But that's what sales is all about, because no one's going to know the truth until you actually see it yourself. And even then you still have to question it or you experience it yourself. You can't sell something. I mean, you can, but you're selling a perception. You're selling an illusion. But is it really an illusion? It is until you actually try it. So that's why the thing with the testimonies, people are like, well, can I have access to testimonies? Or do you have a testimony on this? Or do you have a testimony on that? Or fine, give me the proof and all that. And I'm like... You know, when, when, when somebody is trying to get you into a company or trying to sell you their product, whether it's like, you know, State Farm versus Farmers Insurance, you know, when I'm cold calling, I'm selling an illusion that our company or my office is better than the office down the street, even against my own people, because we have 50 billion farmers insurance agents in California. And so now not only are we competing against Allstate and State Farm, we're also competing against our own agents in our own district or other districts. So you have to sell the illusion or the perception that your your office is going to serve them much better than the office down the street. When they're selling the same products, you got to sell the illusion that you're better, okay? And so that's kind of what it's all about. It's 
all these wars and everything else and miscommunication and misperceptions is all about people's perception and selling a perception, whether it's good or bad, it doesn't matter. And I had to deal with that, people selling perceptions of me, and you can see it in Daily Mail, you can see it in BuzzFeed, Patheos, Newsweek, all the other outlets, Dr. Phil, he's selling a perception, I'm trying to sell a perception, and then the reality lays within the person actually doing it. That's where the reality lays. So now, but but here's the thing, it's not even just that we've been experiencing and doing it, it's also understand the laws that are around it. So not only experience, but now it's actually laws. Okay, so that's what it's coming down to now with Trump and Russia and the whole thing with the impeachment thing is did he break any laws? And that's what the House is trying to determine, which I know it kind of sucks because they're like, damn, you know, they're taking it to the nth degree and we're trying to keep ourselves safe. But then people's perceptions, oh, he's trying to create war there to, to, to distract. And it's just like, uh, and it's never ending war about perceptions. So it's always going to be coming down to either you experience it yourself or you understand the laws. And so when you have people that are not interested in seeing it for themselves or understand the laws, they're going to believe everything on the internet. And that's what we're up against as far as the J juice. So I, I am actually, I have no problem taking a side when it comes to politics because the people that actually understand the J juice and do it, they're going to lean towards the Republican side. Now, I'm not saying every Republican out there is going to do J-Juice, but that's the mindset that I'm actually that I'm actually um, exemplifying and unintentionally catering to. It's those that have the personal accountability and the strength. It's not even just personal accountability. It's the strength. And it seems that the... The split in America is the unhealthy versus the healthy, and it comes out in politics. Okay, so so I, you know, I'm watching all these videos about um, when you look at the humans that are behind these the, the the people that that Trump is picking in his cabinet, and when they try to make a name for themselves or please their their boss like Trump and and that guy Carter Page, who has been totally just demonized because he had, he was inadvertently being thrust into uh, an association with something he wasn't aware of as far as, you know, KGB and stuff, because he wanted to get Trump to meet with Vladimir so they can have some kind of diplomatic talk and relations. So I guess something that Trump could bring to the table as far as seeing what he could do for us when it comes to foreign relations and foreign policy. But what happened was is that it turned into this perception that Carter Page was going to be, it was doing a collusion with Russia. And then it translated into the Trump campaign, this whole thing with Russia. And I wouldn't put it past Russia, China, the Middle East, North Korea, all of those to put people in America as well as on the internet planting seeds of destruction against your own government. And so now, since we are an open society, we have to understand there are so many perceptions out there. And that's why you have to look at the Constitution, the Bill of Rights, all of that, because that, that and also experience stuff yourself to know the reality, to know the truth. And so we have three branches of government for a reason. We have the Constitution and the Bill of Rights. You have the ability to experience J juice. You don't have to necessarily believe in all the crazy perceptions being sold out there against it. But if you're not willing to understand the laws, or well, if you don't understand, understand the laws or experience it yourself, there's no way you can know the truth. You know, there's no way you can know the reality. So then you're always believing somebody else's perception. And so that's the changes that I want to make in our society: is we stop believing the perceptions are being thrown about. Thrown about. We put so much emphasis in the law and order, man-made law and natural law, and then we get off our ass and we go and experience it if it warrants it. But first you have to know the laws first before you experience something. Because if you're you know, wanting to experience Iraq and Iran and we have like a travel ban and then you go out there and you break any laws and you're gonna go to jail, so what's the point? So first you have to understand the law before you then experience the perceptions that are out there. Okay, 
And so, you know, with this whole thing with academia.edu, you know, people are like, well, how do you know it's a real J. Epperly or it's, they're talking about you? And I'm like, dude, I have a unique identifier, which is my email address. I have, you know, the little blurb that I uploaded. I have, you know, and then people are mentioning here and there and they're like, oh, what kind of perception are you selling that, you know, everyone's all interested, but people are, I mean, come on, I always already was on Dr. Phil. So it's already worldwide. I just want to let you guys know that people are looking at it. And I showed you the blurb that I wrote as far as academia.edu. But it's, but the, you know, the people are questioning the perceptions that I'm selling. Okay. And so yes, natural law versus man-made and both together, Tiffany. Yes, absolutely. So people are questioning the perceptions I'm putting out there, but Hey, for you to even get your information out there, you have to sell a perception. No matter what, you have to have the perception out there because without innovation, without exploring something new, you have to talk about it. No one's going to know the truth just from hearing you talk about it. But if someone listens long enough and they understand the laws of nature, the laws of man, and then once they understand the laws of nature and the laws of man, then it gives them the ability to go and make a choice whether or not they want to do it or not do it. So when you think about it, it's the law, no matter what, will trump everything else. The law before you experience. Because you can experience something and break the law and then it wouldn't make a difference. You're in jail, okay, or something happens that you're not aware of. So you have to understand, you know, that with the jelly juice and the pain, it's not breaking any um, any laws of nature. It's the perception of pain is what people have a problem with. Not the actual law of pain, but it's a perception. And the allopathic holistic world are selling the perception that pain is bad. It must be mitigated and disappeared immediately with pills, powders, supplements, and detoxes. And so... This is why the thing with TEDx, people are saying, well, you should go to TEDx. So I already, I already explored TEDx and TED Talks and all that stuff. And they're all about collaborating. They're all about collaborating with the science and medical community, not doing an us versus them. But when it comes to life and death, it's inevitable. It's going to be us versus them. Now, I could say that, yes, the allopathic holistic community is a stay of execution. And that's like, oh God, that sounds very pejorative when it comes to them out there, right? But it's true because the outcome is always death in the allopathic holistic. I mean, you can't argue with it. Look at your parents. Look at all the people that are vegan and vegetarian and playing the organic game using holistic supplements. Okay. And then you look at the whole thing with the J-juice and the law of pain and the, and the hormones that are attached to it, the healing hormones that are being suppressed. And so there's no way that TED Talks is really going to bring me on there because it's inevitably it's going to go to us versus them. I'm going to say inevitably if you stay with and do it, you know, indefinitely all of those procedures and those new, you know, those new protocols, new procedures, you know, new research has discovered that using, you know, mercury is going to help you do this. Inevitably, I'm going to say you use those too much, you're going to die sooner because the gap between life and death is becoming closer and closer, shorter and shorter. And if you stay in the allopathic holistic world, it's going to be inevitable that you pass away sooner or later based upon your predispositions. So I have no problem taking a political stance because I know who the people I'm attracting and I am so okay with it. I mean, I almost, it's almost like a freedom because before I was stuck in a very narrow boat where I couldn't really speak too much politically because I couldn't really back it up. And if I did speak politically, it would be just following somebody else's thought process. And then inevitably I would be pissing somebody off. off. So finally, in the last couple of weeks, I was able to substantiate why I would choose Republican. Now, someone could say that, you know, you choosing a, a President Trump who could be doing this and da, 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 and, and he's going to get us into these wars. And they're like, and then we get in these wars that are dying. I'm going to blame us. Like, oh, you're the one that voted for Trump. You're this, you're that. But no matter what happens out there, what happens with Trump and the geopolitics and war and everything else, I mean, nobody wants war. When you back an ideology of people personally taking account of their own life, and they're not having somebody feed them stays of execution and feed them information and they just listen 
in lockstep, then it doesn't matter what happens with Trump or with Clinton or with Obama or whoever, because those people are still aging and degrading. They may take on Republican characteristics, but when it really comes down to it, it's the protocols and the science applied to the body is going to be the difference between life and death. And so, yes, I could appeal to the Republican side of the, of the community and the Republicans may understand my information more than the Democrats, given the, uh, the chemistry and the strength versus the weaknesses. But it, it, it's like, it still comes down to, are you strong enough for the protocol? And what I found is those that are in the Republican world, they are more able-bodied than the ones that are in the Democrat world. So I don't mind taking that split. I don't mind taking it because let me tell you, if I even get out of politics and I try to promote this to everybody, there's still going to be a percentage of the population that's not going to get it because of the fact that they're too weak for it. They don't want to experience it themselves and they won't look at the laws. And so no matter what, I'm not going to be able to speak to them no matter what. And so now I can actually put a characteristic to it. When someone is not interested in understanding the laws and they don't want to experience it for themselves and they want to fly off at the handle or believe all the crap and gossip, well, they're not a, they're not a candidate for JGs because, I mean, and I could say that it could be a Democrat characteristic. They don't need it across the board, but there are characteristics that do seem to be very appropriate for those that are Democrat and then not wanting to do JGs. But still, again, it's not across the board, but I noticed that, you know, we have to look at the laws first. And so, yeah, so Pelosi is trying to look at the laws, see if there's any law violation. You know, we have a president in office right now that we're questioning whether or not he broke any laws. Okay, fine, let it go through due process. But still, I back my president. Still, you know, we do what we got to do to protect our homeland, our body, our homeland, no matter what. Whether or not he's on a perception or created perception, it doesn't even matter. You know, whether or not we think that they're doing some kind of climate engineering or reacting to 7 billion people's farts, methane being projected in the atmosphere because we're so populated with so many people, which is not that we're overpopulated. We just have people that are in different levels of decomposition, not utilizing the resources correctly. So yeah, we, we're going to have climate change. But people go like, oh no, they're trying to, you know, they think the intention is to kill us all and everything. So there's always going to be perceptions. But if you look at the laws of the body, believe me, if they wanted to kill you, they would find the right concoction and you'd all be dead. You wouldn't be here. Okay, we're like, oh, it's a slow kill. Well, if it's a slow kill, then you have the upper hand to then change your biochemistry to then be able to handle your environment and adapt because man has adapted to mother nature for years. You know, I mean, if you're totally overwhelmed by a certain amount of elements, and yeah, that's the law, the law of, of antibody accumulation. Okay? And so it still comes down to the law. So that's why our politicians are usually lawyers or somebody in the law or political science or history or a teacher at a university. Okay? Um, and so anyways... So yeah, I mean, the whole thing with Trump and politics and the human body, I mean, you look at it, when you look at geopolitics overall, it's like the human body that's on a death trajectory. However, it really is like geopolitics is like the human race, because it is. I mean, you have skirmishes here, you have skirmishes there, you have perceptions being sold in North Korea, you have perceptions being sold in the Middle East perceptions being sold here in America and nobody really knows the truth except for the law and then actually experience it themselves and then their perception of what they've experienced based upon intention. Okay. And so it's like, there's always going to be a war out there, but what it matters is, is you are in the right place. Are you in the right country? And if you're watching me right now, in the West or in some place where there isn't a war torn area where you're able to watch Facebook without any interruption, you're in the right place, which means that if you have access to resources, salt and cabbage and water and, and jars and controlled temperature, you have the ability to live a very, very, very long life. So as long as your environment allows you to, some people live in 
a very volatile environment where, yeah, there it, everything's great now, but there could be like some kind of crazy recession or some kind of, who knows, sanctions put against you. Okay. So it's like, so those that are lucky enough to have access to this information, lucky enough to go to the store and buy your stuff, thank your lucky stars, count your blessings. You have access to understand the laws, to read the internet, to watch YouTube videos, to educate yourself because not many people have that ability. When you have, when you hear about countries having the internet turned off on them because of uprising and protests, it's like people forget how lucky they have it. Okay, I mean, so anyways, um, that's really kind of like my topic today about selling perceptions because, you know, J Juice is selling you a perception that eventually you have to understand the laws and then experience it yourself. Because without somebody selling you a perception, it will not prompt you to look at the laws, do your research, and then experience it. Okay? And so there's nothing wrong with selling perception. You just have to back it up by the law and experience. And so that's kind of my theme today. Anyways, you guys have a good day. Do the J-Juice. And... Don't be a stranger to research. The more you read, the more you put your energy into reading and researching and experiencing, the more well-rounded, the more hope you have for the future for yourself and for your kids and for your animals too, okay? And hopefully this gets out to world leaders out there. Hopefully this gets out to my own government. I mean, if there's smaller governments out there doing the J-Juice, and they have a very strong society and we're here just dealing with cancer disease chronic illness and fanatics and crazy people oh my god you know if our counterparts if, or, or the people that are against us are doing the jeju they're gonna become stronger than we are when we have kids that are completely full of predispositions and parents who don't care and you know and whatever especially when they're little when they're older i understand parents you don't have a lot of control but when you have a society that's I mean, we have 300 million, but they're saying that we're not replacing ourselves. So if you are not replacing ourselves, then it's up to you guys to stay fucking alive. Because then, you know, you don't have enough innovation of people to be America. Then, yeah, places like China or Philippines or whatever, that are constantly reproducing constantly. And that overlap is huge. 20, 45 year overlap relative to the life expectancy that's a lot of people that that could you know so yeah we'd have to have a few people with a good finger on the button and some good technology so it may end up that way where we have really good technology and fewer people which means that we don't have to we don't have to be on the ground boots on the ground but somebody could take and wipe us out in like one fell swoop so we have to be scattered diversified and scattered so we don't put all our eggs in one basket and then totally be done with Okay, so we got to get people all over the world doing J juice to represent life, even when people who are just completely des you know, decimating themselves are like all about hitting each other, hurting each other. We can still stay alive and still bring hope for the future of humanity, even with those that are just completely like horrible, not even caring about themselves or bodies or their kids. Okay, all right, that's it. Bye.